The Friday Footy Show, proudly brought to you by Towards Zero for the 2019-20 TIO NTFL season. We have a whopping live five streams for you to enjoy this weekend. Men's Premier League action starts out at Norbilt Oval, with fourth-place Southern Districts host the third-place Teeley Bombers. A win for the Crocs could boost them back into the third. At TIO Stadium, starting at 2.30pm, the Palmerston Magpies will want to continue its winning form and secure a second win for the season, and the Tars will be hoping to turn their fortunes around. Then, it's the women's Premier League game between the Darwin Buffets and St Mary's takes the main stage at 5pm. Last time these two teams met, St Mary's kept the Buffets scoreless in the opening quarter before a huge effort in the second half resulted in the Buffets taking the win by 30 points. At 7pm, it's back to the men's Premier League with the Darwin Buffaloes hosting Wanderers. The Buffs slipped out of the top four after last weekend's loss and will be wanting to work their way back up the ladder with a big win over the Muckmucks. And we're saving the best to last on Sunday the action really heats up with a clash between ladder leaders Nightcliffe and St Mary's on the Tigers' home turf. Last time these teams met, St Mary's produced the shock of the season, pulling up a 27-point win against the reigning Premiers. Can the Saints do it again? During this game, the inaugural Kalara Darwin gift will run at half-time. If you're over the age of 14 and think you're the fastest 100-metre sprinter going around, you can register at the game for free. Heats will be held during the half-time break of the Women's Premier League game. You could win $500 and return airfares and accommodation to compete in the Parkdale and Storwell gifts in Victoria. Be sure to head down to PSC BM Oval in Nightcliff from 1.30pm Sunday and register before half-time of the women's game. As of 11am Friday, footy Ops has received one forfeit with the St Mary's Division 2 side forfeiting its game against the Jabiru Bombers. Congratulations to Jared Stokes who celebrates his 150th Men's Premier League game tomorrow. We caught up with the Buffs club captain and had a chat about making it to the special milestone. In 2010 I debuted, uh, I think it was yeah, round one, um, as a 15 year old uh, for the Darwin Buffaloes. Um, I remember it was, it was, it was a wet game and um, yeah, it wasn't much of me. I was probably 60 kilos ringing wet. So, um, yeah, I think we ended up getting the win, if, I, if I'm correct. But, um, yeah, it was a good experience. And in 10 years, there must have been a lot that's changed about the game. Can you tell us a few things that have changed? Um, the standard of the game has definitely improved. So uh, when I first come into the league, um, uh, was it, it was less professional. So, like, the pre preparations before the game and, and stuff like that wasn't... Um, as good as it is today, yeah. And you've consistently played over 10 years. What's your secret to keeping fit and surviving the harsh environment that is the NTF? Um, well, growing up in Darwin, I was kind of used to the conditions, but um, by staying healthy, I just uh, prepared well and also did my rehab, which um, like ice baths and um, getting checked out by uh, physios and stuff like that. So yeah, just, just maintaining my body and just keeping healthy. And what does it mean to be the captain of the club that means so much to your family? Yeah, it means yeah, it means a lot. It's always an honour to run out and to lead um, the team that I've grown up being a part of. And um, yeah, it's it's a privilege. So the Walton number six runs in the family, obviously, with Don Stakes and Jared now. And uh... yeah, well, it's, it's always nice to run out with um, my cousins and my brothers and also uncles. So um, yeah, it's always good to play with family. Winning the Cheney medal in a close losing grand final is an ideal, but do you still count it as a highlight? Yeah, it was kind of a bittersweet moment. Um, yeah, winning that uh, medal is, um, at, at, the, at the time, it wasn't what I was really aiming for, but when I finished my career, I could look back at that and be proud of that, so. And what are some of your career highlights? Um, probably, I'd say the 2017-18 finals run was um, was one of the, the best moments of my career. Just um, being a part of a team that was so talented. So yeah, it was it had to be that. And who's the best player you've played against, and why? Um, well, personally, I can't go past Rocco. Um, every time we played him, he'd do something um, incredible. So I'd say I'd say Rocco. Best player you played with? Yeah, I would have to say I, I can't go past Andrew McLeod. I played only about three games with him, but he'd have to be the best player. He's he's been my idol growing up, so yeah, I'd have to say him. 
And what was it like running out onto the field with your idol growing up, knowing that you pulled on the same jumper, you're going and batting for the same team? What was that like? Oh, it was, it was incredible. Yeah, like to go out there and I never thought I'd be in that position. So I was lucky enough to, to, to experience that. So it was, yeah, it was nice. And then when Jared Stokes hangs up the boots, what do you want to be remembered for? Um, I'd like to be remembered as uh, a, comp a competitor, really, like a fierce competitor, uh, and also a club man who um, loves his family and the people involved with the Darwin Buffaloes Football Club. So, yeah. And can we see another 150 games for you? What's, have you got a target in mind? Um, you want to crack 200? Oh, I'd love to crack the 200, but um, yeah, I'd have to keep fit, so I've let myself go a little bit, but um, yeah, I'd, I'd love to play another 150 for the club. Good luck this weekend, Jared. The kiosk at TIO Oval Number 2 will be open for business this weekend, where you can get all your snacks and non-alcoholic needs. Clubs can also get ice from there. Another new addition to the precinct is the club notice board, which is located on the back of the stadium seating. It's a great place for clubs to put up their flyers and for fans to check out what's going on. Think you know who's going to snag the points this week? It's not too late to register for the 2019-20 NTFL tipping competition with thanks to Intersport. See tipping.aflnt.com.au, then sign up and get your round 14 tips in today. Now let's take a look at the NTFL play of the round. When voting closed this morning, it was Joel Jeffrey, whose high-flying chess mark for Wanderers that earned him the most votes. Congratulations to Brenton Hall, whose vote for Joel saw him pick up the fan prize of two grandstand tickets and a canteen voucher to the 2020 AFL game between the Gold Coast Suns and St Kilda. Well, that's a wrap for another Friday footy show. See you at the games.